Let me ask you what this night was like for you. That looked like so much fun. It was it was a it was a neat experience. Uh, you know, getting out in front of the crowd wasn't exactly my favorite part of the night, but seeing the alums, the kids who who played for me in the various sports throughout the years, and getting to kind of talk about old times and uh, you know. They, they kept asking me if they were going to have to run extra laps tonight or anything. I said, no, 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 not tonight. But uh, it was, it's really good to see the kids and the parents that I worked with throughout the years here at school. So, I mean, when you think back to those great teams that you coached, I mean, who are some of your favorite memories? You know, first of all, I had a great staff. You know, uh, many of my guys uh, went on to be head coaches at other schools. You know, Mike Seifert was a head coach down in Texas for many years. Uh, uh, Chris Jennerjohn was a head coach you know, at, at, at Marionville. And, and a few other places, and uh, you know, of course, Lance Jarman was, was a longtime assistant at Kickapoo, and went up in the Kansas City area and finished, and at Nixon, and, and so forth like that. So I was really blessed to have a lot of great assistant coaches, uh, great players. You know, uh, when you get a kid that's played seven years in the NFL, it, it, uh, it makes you a pretty good coach. You know, so I had I had really good kids, and I think the best thing is great parents who, who raised those kids well. Uh, there were not a lot of egos involved. Uh, a lot of kids did what they needed to do to help us, our team win, and things like that. And that 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 era was really good. We, we had just a lot of super people, uh, administration, everything from the bottom up. And uh, I just was fortunate to be the guy that had the title head coach, but I had a lot of great people helping me, and, and a lot of them are here tonight. You know, we were just talking off camera a little bit about the, the heart of the team is showing. I know they're not winning right. every game, but you know, what do you see with this team? I see a lot, a lot of kids are really, are really uh, fighting hard. You know, uh, when Coach Page got the job, you know, uh, two years ago, I was still teaching in the system and still coaching track, and he asked me to help him, and I, it was hard to say no to a former player. And so, I, in the last couple of years, I, I kind of helped out a little bit, and you know, these kids have really put in some some uh, hard work the last few years, you know, going against the likes of the Senecas and the Nevadas of the world. And, and, and even in the conference they're in now, you know, Strafford's got a great ball club, so does Fairgrove, Forsyth, Three Spring, you know, we're still gonna be playing them. But they're in there scrapping, you know, they got, it could've been really easy for them to kind of roll over when it went 14 nothing early, but man, they've been scrapping ever since. Last one for you. anything I didn't ask you about that you wanted to talk about here? Uh, no, not really, you know, like, like I said, you know, uh, I've, I've, I've just been blessed. Uh, to have this opportunity to come here, not only what I did on the athletic field, but my experiences in the classroom over the years have been very, very good. Uh, you know, part of part, when I first came into the system, I was not Catholic. I did convert to Catholicism, so it's really helped my faith life being a part of this school.